It's been such a pleasure to have the main years of my photography coincide with him being you know, one of the greatest surfers and it's just been a blessing to be able to shoot him all these years and be, be surrounded by so many talented people with him leading the pack. I remember, you know, all this talk about him, the new kid from Florida, you know, the big deal. I mean, everybody was making a really big deal about him the way they do about little young up and coming kids. Well, I was working for Quicksilver when Kelly first came out. So they were sending him over to Hawaii. By the time I started working with him, like I think that first shot I got, I didn't really know him very well. I must have just got it one day when he was out at the beach park or something. But during the era of black and white is when I started working with him a lot closer. In fact, that's my photo on the black and white uh, cover. You know, it's funny because at the time, it didn't seem to be anything special, the photo itself. But of course, that video has gone down over the years as being one of the first great videos. So, but looking back on it now, it's a pretty cool thing to have. Very early on, Kelly kicked in and started surfing really well at places like Backdoor and Off the Wall. It was pretty obvious Quicksilver had picked him for a reason and he was going to be something really special. And he was a cool kid. Everybody seemed to really like him and everybody sort of took him uh, under their wing here in Hawaii. You know, all the heavy guys. And, um, you know, that was kind of the beginning of the whole Kelly Slater era. I think you're always excited when a really good surfer comes out into the lineup. You know, everybody looks at each other like, wow, Kelly's out, you know, Andy's out, Bruce is out. It's that kind of thing. And I think you just get on your A game. I just remember every time he was out and I'd get, you know, a really great shot of him, I'd know this is gonna be a keeper for my whole career. Kelly grew up watching the surfers of the 70s and that's when I think the style was incredible. And you see in different moments of his surfing when he has a moment to relax and just, you know, do a layback arch or just something super stylish, super cool. And, and it's just, he'll take advantage of it. And those are the moments I love the best. I think one of the coolest things ever was when we did the Fly in the Champagne movie and Andy and Kelly were both there together. It was hard for those guys to kind of put aside their differences. They'd been rivals for so long. And Shane Dorian showed up and is great friends with both of them and somehow was able to get them to come together and, you know, drop their guard and actually become friends. I actually got to witness them going from fierce rivals to actual friends. I think that's when it started. And I think, I think that's so cool that when Andy passed that they were actually really good friends and I think that meant a lot to Kelly. There was nothing more fun than, than doing that, traveling somewhere with a group of surfers, knowing you're the only one getting these photographs and knowing that they're gonna be history and you're the one with the goods. It's probably been about 10 years since I've had a cover of Kelly. Last summer in Tahiti, I swam out and shot on a small free surf day and was doing nothing but underwater. And I remember seeing Kelly come out and thinking to myself, I've never had a great shot of Kelly underwater. And sure enough, I got it. It was probably my favorite shot of the day. And how cool that it ends up on the cover of Free Surf Magazine.